So today we're reading through Hosea chapter 10. Now, maybe you've heard this familiar statement before, that you are blessed to be a blessing, that you're gifted not to be a reservoir of that which God gives, but to be one through whom blessing flows into the life of others. You see, here in this chapter, we are given crystal clarity of this truth that at times, sometimes, it can be that when blessing comes into your life, it can lend itself towards an attitude of complacency and even rebellion. Look at verses one and two with me from Hosea chapter 10. I'll read from the New Living Translation. How prosperous Israel is a luxuriant vine loaded with fruit. But the richer the people get, the more pagan altars they build. The more bountiful their harvests, the more beautiful their sacred pillars. The hearts of the people are fickle. They're guilty and must be punished. The Lord will break down their altars and smash their sacred pillars. Now, when you read about sacred pillars and places of worship, these places are not given over to God, but ultimately to self. You see, through these false idols, really what these individuals were doing, they were just doing whatever they wanted and worshiping something that was created and not their creator. Here, listen, you and I, we're tempted by the very same thing every single day be it salary or status or just getting that right situation in life or buying more stuff or having just that, that right experience in life, that situation. Listen, whatever it is, when we make a good thing, something that God gave us to enjoy, but when we make it our God, our master passion, that's called idolatry. Replacing the creator, his position in our life with something that's created. You see, you and I, we're blessed to be a blessing. God gives us things, not so that we could hold on to them tightly, but to hold on to them loosely and pass them on to others. So today as you read this chapter, let me encourage you, thank God for the blessings he brings in your life and be someone who gives. Be someone who worships the one true God. Be someone that gets all that there is to get out of life. The best way to do that is to make your life about glorifying God and living for the good of others. So today, love God, love people. Be blessed to be a blessing.